Hi everyone, it's Sue DeWeverin for Fly Your Ideas 2019. We are nine weeks away from the final. As mentioned in the last episode of the countdown, there are six challenges to this year's Fly Your Ideas competition, uh, electrification, data services, cybersecurity, internet of things, uh, what's the other one? Mixed reality and artificial intelligence. Today, we're joined by IoT Challenge sponsor Anis Hotsik, who's also the head of Internet of Teams, uh, Internet of Things project teams for Airbus Digital Transformation Office. Anis, thanks for joining us. Hi Sue, thanks for having me. Okay. For those of you wondering what the IoT Challenge is, here's a quick intro to bring you up to speed. Anis, my first question is linked to the announcement of the 2019 uh, finalists. Out of the seven teams going to the final, two of them are IoT. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Uh, to be honest, I feel uh, I feel proud about the teams. So, guys, well done. Uh, and uh, it was a really great journey uh, because I, I'm not just proud of, of, uh, about the teams. I'm proud about really uh, Airbus mentors and the coaches also who brought these teams and these ideas on this level so that we can say, okay, these guys deserve to be in the last round. Okay, thanks. Uh, do you want to tell the public a little bit about what those two teams' yes. projects are? Yes, yes. Um, uh, from, our, from our perspective, these two teams symbolize two categories uh, of topics also that we saw during the, during the, the contents. And uh, basically we had uh, a lot of ideas which were kind of IoT enabling ideas, so a really nice fancy technology so that can uh, you know, enable also the, the penetration of the IoT in the cabin uh, in the different other areas of the airplane. And the second category of ideas also was um, uh, focusing on improving the customer experience uh -huh. uh, on board. Uh, making it uh, more a kind of well-being experience than just a flying experience. Uh -huh. So um, the first f finalist also is um, uh, is a team uh, called uh, Zero Team uh -huh. um, uh, from uh, University of Delft, uh, and these guys also they came with the proposal uh, to have um, IoT switches which are uh, without battery, so battery-less uh, IoT also switches. Uh, why we choose this team? Uh, because they are addressing all the two main issues that we have with IoT in the cabin today. The first issue is um, are the batteries, mm -hmm. because also the battery, especially the lithium-ion batteries, also could be explosive. And um, the challenge to bring them there is the challenge of the certification and other issues that mm -hmm. we have. And the second uh, challenging topic that they are addressing is the whole topic of retrofit. So bringing these sensors in the cabin, mm -hmm. you don't have to wire you, uh, and the installation of these sensors is pretty, pretty straightforward and easy. So I'm really looking forward for the first prototypes mm -hmm. that we will uh, probably also have before, uh, before the, the finals. Okay. The second uh, uh, company, or the second company, the second team uh, is uh, MIZI team, also from Technical U University of Milano. Yeah. Um, and these guys also came with um, uh, with uh, Swan, and the Swan is the small uh, smart wheelchair uh, for aircraft purposes. So basically, they came with the idea how the um, uh, wheelchairs also can be integrated in the cabin uh, uh, and enabled uh, by IoT. Right, right. So we've got those two projects. Could you tell us why you got involved in the Flyer Deers Challenge? Yes. Uh, well, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm pretty new with um, uh, with Airbus and pretty new with aerospace anyway. So we were basically also looking also for, for two things. We were looking for the ideas and for the people. Uh, in terms of the ideas, we were looking for I would say unconventional ideas, although ideas also from the mm -hmm. next generation of, of thinkers, the next generation of leaders, uh, which are not so, you know, legacy ideas. And in terms of people, um, we are looking um, for the people with our DNA. 
and uh, our DNA that's uh, I would call it an aviator or a pilot and uh, DNA which is um, the DNA of the optimists and you know the world is changed uh, will be changed by the optimists uh, which are ready mm -hmm. to take the challenge so we try to identify and find these kind of people that leads me to my next question. Why do you think that it's important that uh, Airbus creates this kinds of competition and proactively involve in students in calls for innovation? Mm -hmm. um, that's a really good question. Um, now with the experience of a couple of months of doing this, uh, the biggest benefit that I see out of this is uh, actually uh, changing the perspective. Uh, and having the people uh, and having the ideas which are different and taking a look on our business, on our products, also from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, and the second topic, um, this different perspective is helping us actually questioning the legacies, questioning the status quo, uh, and being prepared maybe also for the next generation, which will be, com uh, be coming into, the, um, uh, into our company and as well into the marketplace, into the other businesses. You just mentioned you're new in the aerospace industry, but you're very experienced in IT and IoT. Okay. Mm -hmm. What would your advice be in the students who are involved in Fly Your Ideas and other students who could be interested in Fly Your Ideas for later on about making a move in this industry? Yeah, uh, I think what, what we see, and um, coming from the Digital Transformation Office, uh, uh, what we see is the future of aerospace will be data-driven. Uh, and uh, this this data will be important not just in the design of our uh, future products and services. Uh, they will be uh, uh, pretty much important of in improving the experience of our passengers and of our customers. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, even if you are a mechanical engineer, you know um, having a big um, uh, big interest in in, in flying. Take, take care about the data, take care about the impacts uh, which big data, IoT, artificial intelligence might have in the future uh, in, your, in your area of expertise. Uh, and as, I don't know if you've been watching the video interviews, but I recently interviewed a former Fly Your Ideas participant. He didn't make it to the finals, but he now works at Airbus on the Skywise platform. Mm -hmm. And he said, I quote, now I'm going to read from my script, the work does not stop. Even after Fly Your Ideas, the work will continue, so focus on that. What would you say to that? Any words of wisdom? Um, yes, I mean, um, if, you, if, if, I, if I just uh, reflect a little bit on what uh, we did uh, with, uh, with the teams and with the students involved, mm -hmm. uh, it was, from my perspective, more a kind of learning journey. It was about the idea, but it was really about the development of this personalities of these guys as of being ready to, to, to take the challenge with us. Uh, and I would, I would really like to see all these people um, continuing and accelerating the learning journey mm -hmm. and uh, pushing the borders. Okay. You were involved in the assessment of the projects, mm -hmm. uh, which was actually a big debate, took a lot of time. What is your feeling on the quality and the diversity of the projects that came in? Mm -hmm. To be honest, I'm, I'm, I, I was positively surprised. Uh, why? Because um, just taking a look, although from the IoT perspective, we had 64 ideas, uh, and out of these 64 ideas, we chose two, uh, which is uh, which is a kind of high selection, to be honest, on mm -hmm. one side. But on the other side, although we had more than 250 students from more than 50 universities working together, and to have that managed uh, and to have that uh, in so short uh, period of time that was um, I think a great experience and great learning also for us uh, for us as well benefiting really from this global diversity um, diversity in in all uh, areas of diversity uh, which is just just good for all of us I think I just have a few more questions and then we'll let you go back to your busy schedule okay. what would you say to all the participants uh, fly your ideas, and even those who haven't made it to the final. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, also my message is uh, actually to continue doing this. Also, try again, even also if maybe your ideas is not, you know, in the final uh, this time. Uh, I think this is not just about the idea; it's about your professional and your personal development. Um, and uh, big companies like Airbus and other big companies also should definitely think about that um, and should even try, you know, to support this, this future leaders in this early phase and, um, you know, uh, fire the enthusiasm that they are bringing um, to us. Well, look, Anas, thank you for your time and your dedication. We look forward to see what happens with the two IoT teams. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so us. much, Sue. Thanks. Thank you for having me. Last but not least, with the start of round three, the final countdown 
has begun. So now more than ever, stay tuned to our Fly Your Ideas social media channels and on our website. See you next time. Bye.